My coverage of Computex 2023 is brought to you by Gigabyte, G-Skill, Thermaltake, and Cooler Master. We're in the airport. We're about to fly out of the airport. Look at this, Joe. He's flying out of the airport too. He's going to Taiwan. There's Joe. Pre-check. Oh, oh, they actually have to pre-check us right here. Okay. Made it through security and we didn't have to take our shoes off. Look how shaky this is. There's no gimbal. Uh, I'm so tired. Today began with me getting like two hours of sleep. It's been uh, like a crazy week already. My daughter has been running like a really high fever. Our dishwasher broke. I lost the mounting plate for the monopod and I had to spend like two hours looking for it yesterday when I should have been packing. Point is, uh, we've gotten to the airport today. We went through TSA pre-check, which was pristine. Didn't have to take our, off our shoes. It was, it was really nice. And now we're about to do like a 13, 14 hour flight from LAX to Taipei and uh, you guys get to come with us. Joe's here too. 13 hours of raw footage. <laughs> no editing. That's the plan. That's the plan. Welcome aboard, sir. Thank you. Hello, thank you. Thank you so much. Gentlemen, Joe. How's that? Do the part. part. Do my part. It's time to go. And you get a pot of water. Yeah. There you go. Uh, no, we're here. Well, once we get into the air conditioning, we'll be fine, I'm sure. Taiwan. You don't have to look back, Joe. It's just a, it's just a, a, tra it's a transit shot. Huh? Oh, I'm documenting. You don't want to brush your teeth after a 14 hour flight? Cause that's what I want to do after a 14 hour flight. Caffeine in the bed is what I want to do. Brush my teeth. <laughs> the bags. Yeah, Closing again. <laughs> they have McDonald's here. They're pretty good now. All right, we got our <laughs> Wi-Fi hotspot. Joe's very happy about it. We got our luggage from the luggage carousel. We made it through immigration. And now we're gonna take the MRT, which comes all the way to the airport now, to get over to our hotel, which is by Taipei 101. MRT, yep, here we go. Nice thing about uh, the MRT here, I'm still using my same easy card for, this is from like eight or nine years ago. Saves me 100 NT. 
every time I reuse it. Yeah, we're still in transit, we're still... Whew. All right, so we did an MRT. Why am I narrating it? I always narrate and I think to myself as I narrate, I don't want this narration to be used. Well, it's good. And then you use it and I'm like, oh. Yeah. In my head, I wasn't planning on that. Anyway, which way do we go here? Red line, this way. Yeah. Colors, yeah. you just gotta follow the colors. Red. Red. It's an awesome MRT system here in Taiwan. In Taipei, I should say. Oh, We're almost at the end of our journey. Exited the MRT. Up the escalator over here. Almost there, Joe. Almost there. Well, I should have slept. I didn't sleep, so I know. I'm, I'm tired. It's day two. Got reasonable sleep last night, but then just woke up at like 5.30. This is our recovery day, a bit of time to relax and try to acclimate and get over the jet lag just a little bit. It is also apparently going to be one of the only days here where we get like sun like this. It's just bright, clear, and sunny, quite hot as well. Uh, but we're there's like a typhoon that's kind of on its way, so we're expecting that it's just gonna be pouring rain for most of the next week, so enjoy the sunlight while it lasts. And for Family Mart. Family Mart is a staple. Family Mart, 7-Eleven. There's a couple others, but really Family Mart and 7-Eleven are my go-to in Taiwan. Uh, but they have all sorts of stuff here. You can pretty much live off of like the pre-made meals and everything. But there's one thing that I always try to find. Where is it? Where is it? I was looking for malt milk, and they have all different kinds of milk here. Can't seem to find malt milk. Maybe it does exist. Just whatever it is, is labeled without an English label, which is fine, because we're in Taiwan. Probably too early in the morning for beer, but let's go for some coffee. A nice little pre-made sandwich with some egg and ham and stuff. I got the latte, got the sandwich, added a vanilla custard puff. 136 NT. It's about like $4, $4.50 US. I think that last clip cut off, but what I was trying to say was that my breakfast costs about $4.50 US, and that I, I was kind of sad that Family Mart has changed their chime. The door chime is no longer the same. But anyway, I'm back in my hotel. Here's the room tour, bathroom and toilet. Got sort of a sink area over here, place for my uh, laptop and stuff, and the bed. Let's go to Joe's room. I knew you were filming. You did? <laughs> Oh. I had to show everyone how much nicer Joe's room is because look, Joe's room has a window. No, I, I do appreciate it actually. <laughs> this is actually, uh, it's actually a little bit nicer than I thought. So we're actually down below, like ground level's up there. We're one level below in this place, uh, which for my room means I have no r windows or anything. But for Joe's room, because he's going to be spending more time in his room editing and everything. So paid for the upgrade. As you can see, he's been using his bed. <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> More than one way no, no. And since you might have seen the video where we unbox some of the stuff uh, that we we're taking on the trip, here is Joe's current editing setup. We have a three screen setup because Joe likes to have a timeline and other things on different screens. We have, of course, our Oris 17X uh, laptop over here. Has this been doing all the things you've been asking it to do? Yeah, actually uh, I made a video on my guy here and I'm working on another one. I'm, I'm doing my vlogging. Joe's vlogging. Yeah, uh, Joe underscore edit. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> no, Don't I'm... You can't plug your channel on my channel, Joe. As you can see, Joe is editing a video where he's talking about this setup. I'm editing a video as I'm talking about editing I'm filming videos. a video of Joe editing a video about his setup as we talk about the setup, and it just seems very... Oh, you're using this too? Yeah, actually that's pretty cool. This little power brick here for uh, charging stuff and everything. You also have shiny bubbles on your wall, which I noticed. Sparkles. I don't have any shiny bubbles on my wall. 
So this is an external secondary monitor that runs on USB that we've had for a while. Uh, it's like an ASUS, that one's 1920 by 1080. And then this is a monitor that uh, we got also somewhat more recently, but then um, when, we, when we checked in, uh, the bag checker like chucked it, and look at that, rip. Rip this ASUS screen, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I feel I mean, so you know, bad about that. Fortunately, it's, it's okay. So, if it stays like that, it gives us still okay. Yeah. It's still annoying. <laughs> still usable, fortunately. It's yeah. not like completely destroyed, but yeah, that is kind of a, a sad tragedy of the trip so far. But anyway, there is the setup that uh, our videos are going to be edited on here uh, for Computex coverage, including maybe this one. So, uh, let's go get some more footage and stuff. We're gonna do a little outing. So it's about lunchtime, we're gonna go grab some lunch, and then we're gonna try to make our way over to the uh, the tech plaza that has a bunch of tech shops and stuff like that, and just see what they have there. Could be fun. The maps and the metro are very helpful, but they can be confusing because of this right here. They like to kind of arbitrarily point north in different directions. <laughs> but if you look at the map, you can tell we want exit one or exit four to be closest to get over here the Digital Plaza, which is where we're headed. Selfie move. We're exploring food options right here next to the Digital Plaza before we go and look at the tech stuff. And if you don't speak or read Chinese, it helps to have a place that has pictures on the menu. We're feeling like some curry might be good. Yeah. This place is like through that door and upstairs though. It's so like a mission. Let's explore. Yeah. Watch your step. Damn it. Oh, nice to Oh, there you go. I have like no idea. I guess oh, you get the order. Here's our uh, day one lunch that we've decided on, and uh, we got some like katsu. I can't. I don't know if it's chicken or pork. I feel like this is pork. Yeah. Uh, this is about a six dollar meal. It comes with serve yourself rice. You get a little, little set of sides here as well. Uh, you can also get some tea. A little taste test. Yeah, that's, that's so good. That's so good. Did you try yours yet? Yeah, we're pretty good. <laughs> Look, self serve frozen yogurt. One of my favorite things about Taiwan is the food. It took me a little bit of time to get somewhat more comfortable with just finding a place like this where it's like all Chinese menu, this little door you walk up and you're not really sure what it's gonna be. But this was, this was so freaking good. We were very full and now we're gonna go uh, look at some technology. Fabulous. It's the electronics district, who cares? <laughs> like an ASUS, ASUS ROG store. In the ASUS ROG booth, everything is all dark. In the MSI booth, everything is all light. I don't know what to say. I feel like they've created places in the world of PC hardware color schemes. That or at an Apple store. We've been in this building over here, but the building we actually usually go to, for the Guang Guanghua Digital Plaza, is this one over here with all the pastel colors on it. So we're gonna take the walkway. I think we can actually do a little bit of an investigation in this video. I am curious what graphics cards cost here in Taiwan, or at least getting an update on that. They're pretty expensive in the US, 
Are prices comparable here? Are they more expensive? Are they less expensive? Let's find out. Oh, all right, I see some stuff over here. Let's investigate. Mm -hmm. oh, hi. Graphics cards. Hello. We're starting at the top with the RTX 4090 and uh, the cheapest one they have is actually the NO 3D one that's right up there which is 56,888 NT, New Taiwan dollars, which is 1,896-ish dollars US. So MSRP, 1600 still a little bit expensive here. Granted, a lot of the 4090s in the US, especially the higher-end ones, overclocked ones, overbuilt ones, can get up to 1800 or $2,000 pretty easily. Let's see if we can find something a little bit more affordable. If we step down to the RTX 4080, there's an NO 3D one over there as well for 37,888 NT. 1,263-ish uh, dollars, so that's only about 60, 60, a few 60-some dollars over uh, MSRP. Yes, that's the cheapest one for 4080. Of course, the 4080 MSRP was, was already pretty much a criminal price anyway. The 4060 Ti just launched at an MSRP of 400 US dollars. Once again, the NO3D one over there is the cheapest. There's also a couple here from MSI and ASUS uh, that are also 14,690, which is 490 US dollars. So, $90 premium over the MSRP here. So a very, very nice uh, gentleman here has been helping me out. And he said the best deal, in his opinion, the best bang for the buck right now is going to be the 4070 Ti. That one there is 29,888, which would be about 997 US dollars. So again, still a bit of a markup. They do have a cheaper two-fan version of this, so it would be about 930 bucks. I was curious to know if there's anything that is MSRP here, and yes, there is one. The RTX 3050 they have right over there is MSRP. 7,488 NT is about 250 US dollars, so that's cool. This has been a very interesting and enlightening experience. I want to say a big thank you to Paul, the worker here who is helping me out. He's also named Paul, so that's cool. They didn't have any AMD cards though, so uh, let's go see if we can track down some Radeons. A lot of stores do have pricing guides out front, so let's just check things pretty quickly. But the uh, prices for the NVIDIA cards all seem to be pretty much in line with each other. So there's a look at some of those prices. Just divide those numbers by 30 if you want to know how much the price is in US dollars. What we're really having a difficult time finding, though, is Radeon cards. Where are all the Radeons? Apparently they don't sell well here in Taiwan, as Joe's facial expressions are clearly indicating. What's up there? Look at look what we found. AMD graphics cards. Yay. Finally found a store that has some AMD Radeon cards, some current gen ones. A lot of stores have had 6900s, but look at this. We got uh, not only the 7900 XT and 7900 XTX, but they also even have the just recently launched 7600 8 gig. I need to do math and figure out the prices. So there's your math. The 7600 is 9290 NT. That's about $310, so that's about 40 bucks over. The 7900 XT is 29,990. That's about $1,000. Uh, about 200 bucks more than it is in the US right now. And the 7900 XTX, 36,490 NT for the cheapest one they have here. 1,260 in US dollars. Also, a bit of a premium over the US market. So we found out some very interesting information here today. So what have we learned today? Uh, if you're coming to Taiwan, don't come to Taiwan and expect that you're gonna be able to buy a graphics card for really cheap because they're just as expensive here, if not more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. I needed one last thing here before we left the plaza, and that's an Ethernet cable. Two meter Cat 6 with a flat cable was two bucks. the escalators over there. I feel like a Katy Perry music video. <laughs> Instagram ready display right here. Flowers from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Secret of the Ooze. That's a reference that kids will get. And sheep. Several sheep.
So our plan now is to head up to the Taipei 101 Observatory because like I said, it's supposed to rain like all this week starting Monday. Today is perfectly clear. So this is gonna be the best time to go on our trip. We don't always go up every year, but it is one of the tallest buildings in the world. It has an amazing view and we're trying to hit it at sunset so we can enjoy that amazing view. It's probably going to be a little crowded. Let's check out the fastest elevator in the world. Yeah, there it is. Ah, fastest elevator in the world. Hi, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That is amazing, man. <laughs> that is so amazing. Man. You feel like 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 you Sunsetting. Definitely a selfie moment. There's the shadow of Taipei 101. It's pretty crowded in here because it's uh, Saturday and uh, I think it's one of the last days that it's going to be good to be up here for a little while. But we're inside right now in the inner area. There's a lot of cool new decorations that they've put here. But I think we should go to the outdoor observation deck. Get an even better view. Now take the stairs to get up to the top deck. Okay, I think it's this way. Well, the sun has set and uh, there's still a bit of a crowd here. We're just standing over here on the Milky Way because they have an LED floor that's basically the Milky Way. And this seems like a very suitable place to end this video. So I just want to say a big thank you to all of you guys for watching this video. Stay tuned because this is just starting. We've only just arrived in Taiwan and we have lots of official Computex videos coming at you really soon. I'd like to say a big thank you to my sponsors for this event, Cooler Master, Thermal Take, Gigabyte, and G-Skill. Subscribe if you're not already, hit the thumbs up button, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you all in the next video. Oh,